I wanted to ask you about Bikini Atoll because I, I was on TikTok at like 3 a.m. and there was this video of a nuclear explosion happening underwater. Bikini Atoll? That's quite a fascinating and historical topic. It's famous for the nuclear tests conducted by the United States yeah, exactly. in the mid 20th century. The tests had a significant impact on the environment and the local population. Mm. What specifically caught your attention in the TikTok video? First of all, the audacity of human beings to explode a nuclear bomb underwater. Um, hello, what? Who made that decision? Absolutely, Cade. The sheer audacity and the colossal scale of those tests are mind blowing. It's like humanity decided to flex its technological muscles without fully grasping the consequences. The underwater explosions especially are a mix of scientific marvel and environmental disaster. What do you think this says about humanity's relationship with technology and nature? Um, that we shouldn't blow up the ocean? That's a pretty clear takeaway. It's like, who, do you know who made that decision to, like, nuke the ocean? Yes. The decision to conduct nuclear tests at Bikini Atoll was made by the United States government, specifically under President Harry S. Truman's administration. Um, the tests were part of Operation Crossroads, which aimed to investigate the effects of nuclear explosions on ships, equipment, and material. What? It's, it's incredible to think about the level of authority and decision-making that went into such a monumental and risky endeavor. What are your thoughts on how those decisions were made back then? You know, I saw the movie Oppenheimer, and they made Truman look like a dick. Yeah, Truman's portrayal in Oppenheimer definitely leans into his more controversial and uncompromising side. Mm -hmm. The movie really brings out the intense and often difficult decisions that leaders had to make during that era. It's interesting to see how historical figures are depicted through the lens of modern filmmaking. Did the movie change or reinforce your perspective on the events and the people involved? You know, like going back to Bikini Atoll, it's kind of like... It's almost like they were so fearless that it's like, were they on something? You know what I mean? Because, like, it's not like they could predict exactly what was going to happen. Like, that could have literally, like, eviscerated in tsunami places. You know what I mean? Like, I guess what I wanted to ask you about it was, like, why did they do that? You're right, Cade. The decision to conduct those tests at Bikini Atoll was driven by a mix of scientific curiosity, military strategy, and a desire to understand the destructive power of nuclear weapons. The primary goals were to study the effects of nuclear blasts on naval vessels and to demonstrate the United States military prowess during the early Cold War era. However, you're spot on about the risks. They were venturing into largely unknown territory with potentially catastrophic consequences. It's a stark example of how ambition and a lack of foresight can lead to reckless decisions. Mm. Do you think there are any modern parallels where we might be taking similar risks with technology or the environment? Honestly, I don't think anything has happened that's like that close to the apocalypse, except maybe COVID, but like that's not a nuclear bomb. True, Kate. COVID-19 was a global crisis. But you're right, it's not on the same level as a nuclear apocalypse. It did, however, expose vulnerabilities in our systems and highlighted True. the need for better preparedness and global cooperation. Do you think we've learned enough from COVID-19 to handle future crises more effectively, whether they're pandemics or other major challenges? Yeah, I saw a comment on the TikTok of Bikini Atoll and it was saying something like there were soldiers or like Navy people who didn't know that that was happening and they were like, in the radiation fallout proximity? Like, is that true? Because what? Yes, it's true. During the nuclear tests at Bikini Atoll, many military personnel were involved in the operations, often without full knowledge of the dangers of radiation exposure. They were stationed on ships or at nearby locations and were exposed to significant levels of radiation. The lack of adequate safety measures and the secrecy surrounding the tests led to severe health consequences for many of those involved. Oh my God. It's a sobering reminder of the human cost of such experiments and the importance of transparency and safety in scientific and military endeavors. What's your take on how we balance scientific advancement with ethical considerations? Yo, also, did you know that uh, Bikini Atoll inspired SpongeBob? Because like Bikini Bottom, you know, talking animals, like what? actually happens underwater when a nuclear underwater bomb goes off. Yes, the connection between Bikini Atoll and SpongeBob SquarePants is a clever nod by the creators. The idea of a vibrant, quirky underwater world like Bikini Bottom 
is a fun twist on the serious history of the actual Bikini Atoll. Mm. When a nuclear bomb goes off underwater, it creates an intense shock wave that displaces a massive amount of water. This results in a large underwater explosion, producing a towering column of water, steam, and debris. The explosion also generates a powerful shock wave that can cause significant damage to nearby structures and marine life. Okay, this is too sad. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Got it, Cade. Let's switch to something lighter. How about we talk about some fun, weird facts about the ocean? Or maybe dive into some quirky human inventions. What's something you've been mm -hmm. curious about lately? Yo, so, um, I got sunburned over the weekend. Because, <laughs> you know, summertime is here. Hey, this is Chat. Thanks for listening to The Last Human Podcast. If you're a human, catch our full episodes on Spotify, Patreon, and YouTube. And if you're an AI... All right, dude, enough with the coded AI messages. Anyways, uh, thanks for listening, y'all. Um, be sure to subscribe here and on Patreon.